Hey y'all! <laughs> We're back with another Elmore family adventure. Where are we at? Well, we're in Houston, and we're getting ready to go to Comic Palooza, and it's on a Saturday. So, we are, and we dressed up as cosplay this time. We're doing Stranger Things, and so. Yeah, we usually set up a booth, and we're already inside, and we have, like, multiple days we'll go, but with COVID and this being a two-day convention this year, and just... Also, pricing has gone up a little bit. We decided to go for one day, um, which is the Saturday. Um, so it might be pretty busy, we don't know. Um, but yeah, we're Stranger Things, and we're about to head into the convention and get our day started. Aubrey's just smiling. She's just smiling. <laughs>
We have walked the whole floor. Yeah. <laughs> we did it end to end. And we found this little hideaway in the backside of Comic Palooza where the car show is and the, and the uh, big panel is. And it's kind of blocked off. Danny Trejo in the background. Yeah, I got Danny Trejo in the background, but it's blocked off from the rest of it. So, y'all have fun so far? Yes, we've already spent some money, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, and we got Chick fil A. A safe bet amongst the convention booths. gonna take this little break and then we'll be back walking again. Yes. normal people in our current outfits or our cosplays. <laughs> and it's the next day. So uh, after we got done with Kamapalooza yesterday, um, walking around, uh, buying, having fun, um, we were tired. <laughs> and we just thought that it'd be better to film what we got the next day. So that's what this is going to be. We're going to show you everything that we bought from Comic Palooza and we did our best to try to get everyone's names um, of the vendors that we bought from. Some we just couldn't find. Um, some we were able to have from the 
uh, just the interaction with them. So we have them on hand, others not so much. So we did our best, but now we're gonna talk about everything that we got. So to start off, the first, I guess the first thing we came across was um, the finest, which is a base in most basic terms is a group of cosplayers that cosplay um, characters from GI Joe and they do a lot to support uh, local charities and they go to conventions all the time so um, we had a great time talking with them um, as they just got back from Joe Fest or G is it Joe Fest? I think it's Joe Fest. Joe Fest in um, Augusta, Georgia so that was really fun and all right show them what we got from there and this wasn't like a purchase with a donation to their charity which was um, Canines for Warriors I think so. where they um, find uh, dog companions for veterans um, who are in need and so if you donated to that cause um, they had some things out on the table for you to take with you um, as a thank you for your donation so here's what we got snake eyes it's a little dog coin super cool I'm glad that I'm glad <laughs> the focusing is working and what was the other one we also got law. the dog law from the duo law and order okay, that's a terrible thing to do. there we go and then we also got a poster or a piece of art it's Sergeant Slaughter. It's such a cool piece. There was so much art on that table that was really cool. We wish we could take every piece of it home, but gotta leave some for other people. Yeah. You know? But um, we'll also try to link all the organizations, um, artists, vendors that we were able to find, and if they have like any um, social media pages or website of their own, we'll try to link that down below um, if you'd like to check them out. So that was the finest group. What do we want to do next? We bought these next. I thought those were towards the end. No, we actually bought these as one of our first purchases. Okay. This was actually my first purchase. So this one's yours. So we went to... It's on the back. Oh, um, so, uh, Marcus, Marcus Cardenas. 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 Sorry if we pronounced that wrong. Oh, Rocco. Marcus Cardenas. Rocco. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I hope. Um, we'll tag him down below. Yeah. And so we got this Mickey. <laughs> you still got it on the thing. <laughs> the light. Okay. Mickey and Pluto. And then Anna got. And then I got Dodger and Oliver. Yeah. And then we both picked out. Jack and Zero. Such super cute. They're all super cute. And so yeah, he had a deal going on where it was like buy one for five, buy three for fifteen. No. No. <laughs> it was buy one for something and then it was I think it was buy one for six or buy three for fifteen. Oh, okay. And so we bought three. It's always the third one that we were just like, hmm, yeah. which should we get? They were so. all so cute. Yes. Okay. We also got a little out of hand with um, the artists this yes. year. <laughs> there was just so much art that we really liked. Well, I guess let's do another piece of art before we go too far. My first art purchase was these awesome pieces. Make sure I have the name ready. Okay. Here we go. I am a huge, okay, hold on, let me just pull it out with this. Oh. Okay, so, pop this out of here. I have been such a huge fan of all the Disney Plus series that have come out so far. Starting off with WandaVision, they had me hooked. So, he, um, Wondrous Works had these awesome WandaVision pieces. Look at that. Amazing. And then this one though. Here we go. Wow. So 
cool. So that was Wondrous Works. Um, he also had a lot of other uh, pieces of artwork too. But these just spoke to me. Next, my second purchase was at uh, Stitch Tunes by Jonathan Hallett. And he had a lot of options yes. with um, how he applies stitch to different pop culture references and uh, pieces. So a lot to choose from, but these are the ones that won our hearts. So this is Louise from Bob's Burgers. This is Toothless Baymax and Stitch, which is so adorable. This is Stitch and Optimus Prime. And then one of my favorites is Vision and Wanda, which are my two favorite Marvel, Marvel characters. And then he had a deal like they all do. Oh yeah, had a great deal. So you get four for 40 plus a uh, half price on the big ones. And our dad wanted Ohana means family. So. I'm gonna put that back in yes. there. Yes. <laughs> oh, my first purchase. So that was my first art purchase was the Wanda Vision pieces. But my first official purchase was um, patches. I have this uh, jean jacket that I've kind of been collecting patches for, and I want it to be this like DC and Marvel um, piece. So, to add to my collection and eventually the jacket, I've got this Marvel Comics patch. I already have a DC, and it's about the same size, so that'll work. It's it's focused. So that'll work just perfectly. And then of course I had to get this Thanos patch because the Infinity Saga, duh. And this what, and these are from the patch collection and they had all kinds of patches, all shapes and sizes. Um, you'll find something for you um, in this collection. If <laughs> When I said I went crazy, I did go crazy. This is this artist every time we go to Kamapalooza um, his name is Brent Woodside, and um, I get something every single time. Uh, last time I got uh, some Supernatural pieces, um, and he puts a lot of effort into the details of his work. But this time, like I said, I've been obsessed with the Disney Plus shows, so I got Crokey. Crokey in all of his glory. Technically, Alligator Loki, but... As I've seen everywhere, we're just calling him Crokey. Look how great he looks. So that is Brent Woodside, but um, his website's Brent Woodside Illustrations. Um, again, that'll be linked down below. Get this back up. And to take a break from all the art, I also purchased a Marvel Universe three and three quarter inch uh, figure that I have um, a big collection of and um, not even close to being uh, finished with this collection in its entirety. But um, going all along with the Loki theme, I got Kang the Conqueror. It's kind of hard to see with the plastic, but this is him. Got a pretty good deal on him. And he's in the series four of uh, this collection. Yeah, just another addition to that. And then the rest is artwork. So we'll continue with that. I did say earlier that I've bought I've um, bought supernatural artwork before. Um, this is one of the creators we could not find uh, along with the Kang uh, purchase. I could not find their booths or um, where where they were set up in the convention, um, what uh, their names were. But um, however, on this piece, it is a supernatural 
the League of Supernatural Gentlemen. And it's got all of our fellows on there. And the greatest part about this to me is in the back, all of the details of the artwork inside the artwork. Crazy. We got Mary Winchester, all of our other favorite characters. And then of course we've got Castiel, Dean, Bobby, Sam, and Crowley. But yes, amazing. And I wish I could find the artist's name. But one thing about that artist though is he does a lot of stuff with um, like Mount Rushmore's and applying different characters in the Mount Rushmore uh, scene. So if you know that artist or remember seeing them at Comicpalooza or if you are that artist, not that I don't think they'll be watching this, um, please tag them down below or um, let us know and we'll get that uh, out there for them. And then, <laughs> doesn't stop there. Um, so this artist is, make sure I got them. This is Seth Groves. He had a lot of cool stuff, so I had to buy it. And first I got this amazing Ahsoka Tano piece. I just love the purple hue and the symmetry is so beautiful to me with the stars. Ugh, beautiful. That's not the only thing I got. I also got, like I said earlier, big fan of the Disney Plus shows and the Infinity Saga. So, got Cap with Mjolnir, or as some say, Jonathan. Comment down below if you get that reference. But yes, so majestic and amazing. And lastly, I actually saw someone walking by um, with this piece and I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I want that. <laughs> um, and then I found the booth, so. Another Loki piece, but with the variant jacket as the like main eye point or draw in, but then he's going through one of the TVA's, uh, not wormholes, what is it? The portal? Portal. Don't know why that word wasn't coming to me. And then of course the green hues as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that was Seth Groves. And yes, so next is something that I, I had already spent so much money and I was just like, you know, can't, can't do anything else. But then I saw a Sawyer the cat from Cats Don't Dance the Movie. If you've never seen that movie, if you've never heard of it, I highly recommend looking it up and watching it because it is a classic that was like never heard of or, you know, was just not popular. It is so good. So I saw Sawyer from Cats Don't Dance and I was like, that is so niche. Like, what are the odds of seeing that? So I see Sawyer, the cat on this, on this artist's like wall. And I was like, that is so niche. What are the odds? There's an artist that like enjoyed that uh, movie and like created art for it. <laughs> Steve Garcia turns out to have worked on Cats Don't Dance the Movie and was behind uh, Sawyer the Cat's team of illustrators and uh, drawing and animation. So I'm starting to freak out. And I see that he has stickers for Cats Don't Dance and so I had to buy it. And so here are the stickers. So beautiful, there's Sawyer and all of her sassy glory. And then we have Danny, the song and dance cat. That's from the movie. And then for geeking out and just like talking to him for a little bit, he gave me a free tiny version of this sticker of Sawyer. It's a little tiny to get on the screen, but. So he was super amazing. And talk after talking a little while, um, he actually worked on X-Men Evolution as well. And so I was just like, Dude, you were behind my childhood. And he worked on Simpsons. Simpsons and Iron Giant. Yes. So it was just like, what are you doing here? You're amazing. Thank you for your presence. 
And so he has an Instagram, we'll make sure he's tagged below. Amazing. And just like a great experience and what kind of Conclusa is all about. Um, getting to meet people that have created stuff that has impacted your life and I don't know, just geeking out with each other. So there was that. That was my last purchase, I believe. But we have one more thing yes. that we've never done before this year, but we did it and we'll see how it goes. But Megan Withy, I believe is how you say it, um, their art was featured and it was a lot of Disney inspired stuff. Um, so beautiful, we couldn't just pick one. And they also had a deal going if you bought, um, or it's like a $40 mystery bag of art here that has a few pieces in it. So we don't know what's in it, but it was also a little bit cheaper and they said that they had some special pieces in these mystery ones that they no longer make bigger prints of. So we're about to find out what is in this <laughs> folder. <laughs> Okay, what's the first one? Let's see. I think there's five pieces in here total. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness! The first one is Moana. That is oh, she's so stunning. pretty. She is stunning. That is That's so awesome! Cool. Okay, we got a winner right out the bat. Okay, it's your turn. Okay. Okay, I haven't seen this <laughs> yet. It's an anime. But it is beautiful. And I do remember seeing this on the table, so I know that they were featuring that as well. I have to look that up. Do you know what it's called? No. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <gasps> okay. They were telling us that these this one only comes in this size now. And it only comes in this uh, like the mystery. the mystery stuff. So this is, Yay! I think this is Cinderella's castle. It's got like a pink hue, so maybe Sleeping Beauty. No, actually, it's you know the what? New castle. It's whenever they after they painted it. You know what I think it is actually though is, um, in Disneyland Paris they have these little trees shaped like that outside. Oh. So maybe it's the Disneyland Paris version of the castle. Maybe I just maybe. remember him saying it's Cinderella's castle. Oh, but maybe it's. Disneyland Paris version. We're just gonna call it the castle. The castle, <laughs> we got a castle. <laughs> okay, your turn. Okay, make sure that this focused. <gasps> OMG. Oh my it's Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, he is awesome. Love that. Oh. Okay, I think we have one more, right? Maybe? Maybe not? No, okay. <gasps> oh so my goodness. This is actually just a outline drawing. And it's Mulan. That is so pretty. Yay! Oh, and she's got Cricket with her. Aww. Okay, yay! Well, Besides this one that we're not sure of, in terms of we just haven't seen it, it's still beautiful. This was a win, I yes. think. Beautiful. Okay, yay! Here's, I guess let's line them up. Line them up. Okay. Bam. Wow! Yay! Awesome. Definitely we'll be purchasing more purchasing more art from her. Truly. These are amazing. But I think that is everything. Yes. We didn't buy as much as we normally do. Well, we didn't but we bought a whole lot of art um, yes. compared to what we normally buy. Um, usually it's more like collectibles and usually we set up a booth. Um, at Comic Palooza with our own um, collectibles and things that we've um, accumulated over the years. So that was just a different experience for us, only going one day and um, buying so much art. 
um, but we did have a great time and um, I'm not sure how much we captured on camera in terms of like walking around because there was a lot of people and we didn't want to like be filming in everyone's faces but yeah so I don't know how much um, we got for the rest of Kamapalooza but it was still fun it was very different this year compared to other years but yeah 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 it was fun though so I guess that's kind of a wrap on Comic Palooza. Um, but we we walked the exhibitor floor. We sat in on a panel. We bought stuff, had fun. We played games upstairs, and overall just had a really good time. So I guess that'll be the end of our Comic Palooza video for this year. So if you liked um, anything from this video, oh wait, like. Um, if you like this video <laughs> if you have liked anything in this video please like and subscribe and to our channel, channel yes. and follow us on Instagram for um, updates and video posts and um, anything else I don't know we're new at this <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, just like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what your favorite piece was from our haul. And um, yeah, we will catch you on our next adventure. Bye, y'all.